Hey guys, my name is Ray Mello and I'm going to teach you how to record using OBS. I feel that OBS is a lot easier uh, to record with, but there's a lot of things about it that you need to know um, how to set up and stuff like that. So, um, right now I'm recording this video using Fraps uh, just because I want to show you this whole not, not stream and all that jazz. It's a lot easier to come by. Um, I'm going to take into the consideration that you have no experience with OBS at all. So, um, so right here, these whole scenes right here, uh, there's different scenes from, for me, I have my, my desktop, my be right back screen for when I stream, a timer for when I stream, and then there's just random stream, uh, scene for when I draw stuff. As you can see, I have Photoshop and Illustrator. My main, I just have this little scrolling bar and a mic and all of my games that I usually play. And so, uh, to get one of these things, you just double click on this and it'll say, what application you want to use and I only have these applications open but if you had Minecraft open you would select one of these as Minecraft and you don't really need to use these hotkey or anything alright right here you clearly have your mic volume you can mute it you can turn it all the way up and your speaker volume mute it turn it all the way up start streaming will stream straight to Twitch um, it'll also record which I'll teach you preview stream will preview how it looks alright so this is my preview thing it says my whole jazz for uh, you know when I stream and stuff. Plugins, uh, I don't really have any plugins. I'm sure you could Google some and look up how to use them, but I don't ever mess with that. Global sources, which is just you know all of these basically, and then we'll get to settings. So your general, you can just leave all this uh, blank. Uh, enable cursor over project is uh, like when if you like record your um, thing, uh, like if you record your OBS, you can you can see the mouse on OBS. Encoding. Um, I would look up uh, like a good tutorial video for this. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on this part. You can try to copy mine. Always leave your audio um, the same. But this video encoding, if you're streaming, it is really based on your internet speed. But you can try copying down mine and see if it works for you. Or you can uh, look up another tutorial and just use theirs. I ended up using somebody else's and it's just always worked for me so I've never uh, really um, messed with this so you can go ahead and when you get this program you can go ahead and read and maybe you can make sense of this now a broadcast setting this is where it gets um, serious okay so the mode this whole file output is how you record okay so for me it says start stream but it really means start record okay I have my hotkey set to zero on my number pad to start and stop the recording. And then you uh, browse for a file path. So my specific file path goes to my videos folder. Um, but that's all you have to do to record with it. Um, just make sure, like, the problem I have is that sometime when I want to start streaming, I forget to change this back to live stream. And so um, I get that screwed up. For live streaming, if you want to use this for live streaming, uh, you just select your um, you can actually set up to YouTube now which is pretty cool um, but you just select your um, you know your preferred thing I just use twitch and then you select your server usually it's someone closest to you so mine my closest one is Chicago your stream key which you get from your twitch dashboard auto reconnect is if your stream crashes it tries to auto reconnect to you and then all of this the rest of this like I said you can go ahead and leave this blank um no no video don't mess with this unless if you want to change the resolution um if you do have a hd monitor change this to 1280 by 720 if you have the option down here that's a pretty big you don't have to mess with anything with the audio unless if you have a different microphone you want to use i have the blue snowball so i don't really mess with that and then the advanced settings which is just all this um funky junk stuff that i don't even know anything about and i think this is a plugin but you don't really need to mess with this either so that's basically it. Uh, we can preview the stream real quick, and uh, let me open up a game real quick to uh, really show you how uh, the game works when you record. Oh, I think I just pressed quit. No, I didn't. Here we go, snapshot. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm recording and 
previewing the stream and then trying to open up everything and I'm also running Skype and a bunch of other stuff in the background. Right now I'm rendering another video. Um, that it's like lagging my computer out right now, but this is weird. It's never really done this before. Uh, so wait, we, like we can stop the preview until it's up because it's not going to show up anywhere. Oh yeah, here we go. It's getting a lot faster now. That was weird. It's never done that. Um, I'm doing this video because a lot of people were, like, I was telling some other person, uh, over Battlefield, actually, because you can actually do this to not only record Minecraft, but you can do it to record, um, you know, Battlefield and, uh, Black Ops 2. I use this to record Black Ops 2 because Fraps, for some re reason, just totally kills, uh, Black Ops. You can't record, um, Black Ops with, um, this. So, uh, you saw my resolution, right, on my on my monitor so my problem is that when I record I get these weird black bars alright so what you can do is if you right click on it you can change the position and the size so even if I do fit the screen it's not gonna really do much if I do um, center doesn't do much because I have it on full screen but it, it it eliminates like if you try to record like with your desktop um, it does make it look like a professional recording if you have like a right monitor because usually if you see people who use bandicam and stuff like that or some uh, low end uh, not really good recording software you can see like their top screen so like up here you can see this whole exit bar or you can see down here and that's really bad and so I don't like doing that but with this you can see um, it, it's it would act as a normal recording you just get these funky black bars and just uh, when you record with OBS just make sure you don't have any of these like scrolling bar you want to get rid of that but like I said um, you can toggle between all these games uh, when you record Call of Duty Ghosts Keep in mind, I would record in windowed mode. Um, it's just a lot easier to handle with OBS. But that's my tutorial. If you have any questions, please talk to me. Um, and I will try to help you out as much as I possibly can. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Peace.